Hey, what's up, fellow YouTubers? Super Milwaukee boy back at it again in the kitchen with another In My Kitchen food review. Today, rather than a food review, is another. Um, this is a requested. This is a requested uh, beverage review. And much like the video I did in the past about the Caramel Machado International Delight Ice Coffee, this one today, this product is the Vanilla International Delight Ice Coffee. It says naturally flavored, made with just like the, the Caramel Machado, this one is also made with real milk and cream, as they say. Uh, yeah, so this. There's, I noticed when I was at the grocery store, I got this from Pick and Save Grocery Store, and they only had three different flavors. Now, I don't know if they expanded, and maybe, you know, you go somewhere else, and you shop for one of these International Delight iced coffees that they have different flavors, but the only flavors I seen was the vanilla, caramel machado, and the mocha. And I'll, I will get to the mocha and if you guys request it, I'll get to the mocha even sooner because I love your guys' request. And as always, I'm going to start off by reading the ingredients, guys, just like on the one I did uh, about the caramel machado. The, the ingredients in this one is coffee, filtered water, skim milk, cane sugar, cream, contains 2% or less of natural flavor gel and gum. And I don't really know too much about what gel and gum is. I would have to research that. And it contains milk and is processed in a facility that also processes tree nuts and soy. So if you're allergic to nuts and soy ingredients, I would kind of stay away from this because it is made in a factory that does have that stuff and they work with that stuff. <clears throat> All right, uh, nutrition facts as usual. Serving size is one cup, 240 milliliters. Serving per container is eight. Calories is 120. Calories from fat is 20. Total fat is 2.5 grams. Saturated fat is 1.5 grams. Trans fat is zero grams. Cholesterol is five grams, not too much cholesterol. Sodium is 80 milligrams, and that's a lot less than what we had in the Caramel Machado. I believe the Caramel Machado, because I had went back and watched it, I said it was 105 milligrams per sodium, and this is only 80 milligrams. So less, uh, I believe what they're using is, is it could be sea salt, or they don't really tell you on the ingredients, but it could be sea salt. I'm hoping it's sea salt, because sea salt is the, the um, the minerals that your body needs other than the regular salt which is just bad for you anyways guys total carbohydrate is 21 grams A little more carbs in this one 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 extra gram of carb in this one and I think it's because maybe possibly the sugar could be a little more in this one dietary fiber is 0 grams sugars is 19 grams and protein is three grams so just like the caramel machado you do get protein also in this one as i believe you do in all of these international delight does a really fantastic job as i always say i love international delight more than any other creamer i can buy vitamin a is two percent vitamin c is zero percent calcium is ten percent and iron is zero percent so you do get vitamin a and calcium from this and you know that's due to the milk. <clears throat> but anyways, guys, enough of my talk. This is a requested for review, so this is for you who requested it. Let's get right into it. First, I'm going to try it without the ice. Seeing that this is iced coffee, I will try it without the ice. And then I will add what they recommend, which is the ice to it. And I will give two kind of two rating scales on what it is without the ice considering it with the ice and uh, before I even start the taste test guys uh, the rating skill my rating skill I always go through every video I try to is one to five one meaning the product was uh, bad real bad awful uh, don't buy the product is what one is two meaning the product is okay you know I don't recommend you buy it but it, it was okay 
three meaning it was good and you should go try it and you know maybe give your own thoughts and opinions and if you do what I do here on YouTube give a review on it it was good to say it was good enough for me the product was great it was a definitely go out and buy but the product could also you know step up and improve over the years or or you know and five meaning the product was absolutely fantastic they don't need to touch the product the product just blew my mind the product was out of this world the product was fantastic it was great in all levels and just outstanding guys so anyways here you go enough of my babbling let's get into this vanilla iced coffee guys here we go I just bought it today so this is a fresh bottle I'm gonna just open it pull out the notch here fresh bottle and I can't wait to give this review I'm excited because I love International Delight and their vanilla it always is, is really really good to me so I'm hoping for a good rating on this one there we go I'm using my winter cup see the little penguin using this cup because it is like winter right now guys even though we were still in fall I understand we do got a little bit of snow on the ground and to me it, you know it feels like a mixture between the two but it feels more like winter and I know winter doesn't start till I believe December 22nd but it's winter to me guys anyways guys here we go I'm gonna take a sip of this then I'm gonna try it with the ice and I'm gonna get both my ratings from there Mm. Take one more sip. I didn't really get too much out of that. Didn't really didn't really get too much out of that, guys. Let's try it with the ice though. I'll be back. One second, guys. Let me put a few ice cubes in here. tried the best I can with the little chunks of ice cubes we got and uh, got the ice in there if you guys can can see if the cameras focus got some ice in there I'm just gonna slightly cover the ice with the vanilla international delight iced coffee give it a little swirl around with the ice hear that rattling got the ice and I'm gonna swirl around just a little bit just to develop the coolness of the coffee mixed with the ice and then I'll give this a try guys there we go wow that was way better guys with this product right here and the flavor of this one without the ice it is a two for okay but I think with the vanilla you definitely have to add the ice you have to it's, it's recommended you have to have ice with this one unlike the caramel machado where it was good without the ice you know I could drink that without the ice with this one, I wasn't tasting too much of a vanilla kind of flavor with this one without the ice. I tasted more of a, just a stale, bland coffee kind of taste. Then I didn't know what to make of that. I really didn't, guys. Um, I thought it wasn't going to improve adding the ice, to be quite honest. Because for me, even the cream of vanilla... For International Delight, seems kind of, you know, it's kind of like, it, it could be a boring flavor. I understand that. My favorite was always, you know, the uh, Cold Stone Creamer or the, um, the Caramel Creamer. You know, stuff like that. The uh, Italian Sweet Cream was always really good. 
but with the vanilla it could go either way and with this I'd say you have to add the ice because with the ice it makes it a five for fantastic guys I don't think without the ice it would just be a two for okay but okay is eh you know it's iffy and it just left me with a blank kind of taste in my mouth you know like where was the flavor when it when I didn't add the ice to it but when I added the ice man that really kicked it out it brought out the vanilla flavor it cooled the coffee it was tasteful guys try it with the ice you won't be let down fantastic with the ice okay without the ice but I definitely recommend the ice guys and that is my rating for today guys I love you thanks for tuning in give me your thoughts and opinions on what you want me to review next I'm open for any 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 kind of food product you guys want me to do I was thinking I'll try tuna next two different kinds of bumblebee tuna but I was just just a thought guys uh, the products I get are always from the store, never from fast food restaurants. I don't do fast food reviews. I try to be as original as I can for you guys. Products that you can get maybe or think about my video while you're at the store and try it out for yourselves. And then always leave your comments below if you try these products, guys, because I want to know what you think about them. I want to know what you think about this one if you tried it, definitely. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, guys.